Hello everyone and welcome back. This is Farm Sim Dad and we are on episode 4 of Surviving the Yukon. Uh, since the last time we uh, did an episode, I have cut down a few more trees, taken some loads to try to get us some money up for the things we need to do around the farm. We've got to get field 5 planted, so let's see. This one here. This is our only field. We got to get it planted with something. And the only thing we can do in September, I want to do canola because I think canola is worth a little bit more than wheat and barley. So wheat has a high price of 600, barley 555, and canola, yeah, it's like double the price. So we want to go ahead and plant some canola on that field and let it grow. And in the meantime, we can do some other jobs to save up for a harvester and, and whatnot. I did buy a few things. There was a couple things in the in the sale section, in the used vehicle section in the store. And I'll show you those when we get back to the farm. But right now, we are down at the store. We are going to go ahead and rent us a cedar to plant the canola. I do want to rent it for now because they are pretty expensive. Um, so we're going to rent the cedar and I think I'll go ahead and buy a fertilizer spreader because we're going to need that. We need to spread the fertilizer before we plant and then next month we'll fertilize it again for the second round. So this is, let's see, let's go ahead and buy this guy first because I think there's one in here I decided on. I think I want to do, let's see, this one will do up to 1500 with the extension. That one only do 1200 but it's $1,000 more. Both have an 18 meter spread. Let's see, that one's way too much. Yeah, so I think this is the one we were going to buy. Go ahead and throw the extension on there. I like red. Yeah, 7300 that's not bad. So... Yeah, she'll hold 1,500 liters. That should do for now, bag and a half. So we'll go ahead and buy that. And I wanted to go ahead and rent a cedar. Now our tractor does only have 115 horsepower, so we gotta be careful about what we rent. Let's see. Because I'll go ahead and mention I did go ahead and plow that field off camera and I rented a a plow that was I didn't even pay attention to the horsepower requirement and it was um I think I rented this guy. Yeah, I didn't even pay attention to this one eighty and it wouldn't pull it at all, so I had to sell it back and I actually went ahead and bought one. I'll show it to you when we get back to the farm. But for now, let's see, cedars. I think I wanted to rent one down here because I think it was this guy. Was it that guy? Yeah, I'm not sure what the mod is for. What's the difference? Oh, that's not the right one. Yeah, this is a mod. Yeah, that's not the same. So yeah, that's only 35 horsepower to hold 700 liters. Um, is that the one I wanted? No, it was this one. This is the one I was going to rent. No, 600 liters. I thought there was one in here that we were going to rent that would do a little more. But I can't. Yeah. Yeah, I guess we were going to go with this guy. Because this guy's too, yeah, these require too much. Unless we were going to rent one of these bigger ones, but all these require too much horsepower. So, yeah, we'll just, actually, we might just go ahead and buy this guy. Actually, I was going to rent this one because it'll cultivate, it'll direct. But we already plowed, so, and we have a plow, so we could do that. Yeah, let's just buy this one. How about that? We will, 
uh, the direct seat might be nice to have in the future. We might save up and just rent buy that one later. Let's see, what's the lease on this? 357? Yeah, let's just go ahead and do it. We might have to come back for seed because I'm not sure if 600 liters would be enough, but this will be enough to get us started. Oh, yeah, we need seed and fertilizer. We'll go ahead and get two bags of fertilizer because that thing will hold a bag and a half and one bag of seeds. All right, let's go get our stuff. We can carry both of these because we do have an attachment. And that's another thing I noticed. For some reason, my silly self bought a manual tractor. So it takes a minute for this thing to get through the gears, especially when you're pulling something. So I think I'm going to keep an eye out for an automatic um, tractor. But, oh, that's the wrong side. So, yeah, I'm going to keep an eye out in the store for an automatic. And maybe we can get a good deal. We kind of need a bigger one anyway. We're going to get things going. We're gonna be, we're gonna need a bigger, a bigger tractor in the future anyway. So, so we'll go ahead and hook up this cedar, and then we'll get them filled up, and head back to the farm. Let's see here. I guess I could have just backed up. I don't know why I'm going this way. Pull along the side, get our menu up. Yep, refill. There we go. And come over here and do the same thing for the fertilizer. Refill this guy. It should hold. Yeah, bag and a half, I think. Perfect. All right, back to the farm. So yeah, I made some purchases while you're away. Um, we'll show them, show them off when we get back up here. I told you about the trees. Yeah, got us a little bit more money. We can do some things. I did plow fill five, so that's done, ready to go, ready to seed. I have not fertilized yet, which is why we got this. And. Oh yeah, I forgot to tell you guys that um, Mr. Miller reached out to us, you know, Miller Gold Mining and all. He reached out and introduced himself while you guys were away, and he wanted to know, he's going on vacation this week, and he asked us if we would mind, sorry, trying to make sure I'm on the right, right path here, still don't know my way around. He asked if we would mind, um, mind doing a little work for him while he was gone. He says he's he's letting his workers off for vacation as well since he's taking a vacation. And he asked if we would run up to his mine and run 500,000 liters of pay dirt through his wash plant while he is away. He says he will pay us $5,000 to run half a million liters and all we have to do is just put the dirt in the wash plant and it'll take care of everything and he will you know once it produces the concentrate he'll handle that stuff when he gets back so I think after we get this field planted we'll run up there and do a little mining work for Mr. Miller you know we want to stay on his good side and everything since he's the big dog around here so I think that'll be a fun little little side job for us to do so and then you know we might look and see what other kind of contracts are around we'll try to help the neighbors out as much as we can so we might take a look at those but we for sure want to help mr miller out anytime he asks just so you know he's been good to us buying the lumber and and um you know helping us out on that with the money with our money so since that's been our main source of income so far but soon this field will be ready to go and we'll get some money off of that and um, you know hopefully if we you know do this job for mr. Miller he'll be willing to call us back in the in the future and we can get some stuff done 
for him. So, so let's see here. First, I guess we need to fertilize this bad boy. So let's knock that out right quick. Pretty good spread on this thing, so it won't take but a, a pass or two. And then we'll get started with the seeding, and I can finish that off camera because it will take quite a few passes with this very small seeder to get that done. And then I'll bring you guys back after we got everything planted and we will go do a little mining work. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention, you can see over there in the distance, new purchases. So that trailer was on sale in the store. I figured we're definitely going to need it. It was 66% off, so I went ahead and, and grabbed it for right around 10000 I think. Um, there's the plow I ended up. Just go ahead and purchasing that plow. It's pretty small, but it it got it done all right. And then this bale loader, I did rent that for now because it was not on sale. So I rented that. It's kind of a a long term lease. It's a little bit cheaper than renting it month to month because you have to pay the base price up front, and then the the daily price is only like five hundred bucks, and then they charge you per hour of usage. So you know, I only put like five minutes on it picking up those bales. So it's really nice. It just, you know, you just drive up next to them and pick them up. So that was a good, a good investment, I think, to, to rent that instead of having the, you know, buy a front loader and a bale spike and everything. So I did go ahead and rent that and we'll hang on to it until hopefully we can afford our own. Um, those silage bales should be close to fermenting. We might sell those. Probably next episode. Let's see. What's the price on silage? So it's high prices in January and February. Uh, and we are in September. So yeah, we'll probably hang on to those till January. Um, I don't know if we'll get another cutting out of this grass before the end of the season. But, but maybe. So let's see. Alright, seeding. So let's change this to canola. We will go ahead and turn this bad boy on. Uh, I think it's running. Yeah, it's running. Alright, let's lower it down. Oh, is my are my controls messed up? Yes. Alright, sorry guys. This happened on my other game save too. I'm not sure why the lower tool. Vehicle work. I'm not sure why it got changed, but that's always been the spacebar. I'm not sure, and the camera view has always been the. So I'm not sure why that got changed, but there we go. No harm, and we are seeding. That's a good thing to say. Yeah, it's going pretty fast. Nine miles an hour. Yeah, this won't take too terribly long. But yeah, so getting our first field planted here. So this will be nice. Um, I did plow the field. Um, for some reason, no stones came up. Maybe we'd get a freebie on the first pass, but I was going to leave those anyway for the first time. You know, there's several different stages of stones, so we'll, we'll leave them until they get real bad, and then we'll rent us a stone picker and get those up. I know it damages the equipment a little bit, but... It's all right. It'll make it work for a while. Um, this field does need lime, but I didn't do it this time. I think it's only a 5% yield penalty, so we will do that Do that next season when we plant this field. Um, not really sure. I think I just forgot until just now, but... That's all right. We'll we'll lime it next time. Um, but yeah, so I'll go ahead and finish this off camera, and I will bring you guys back in in just a bit. All 
All right, guys, welcome back. We are headed up to the Miller Gold Mine to get started on that contract. So while while um, you are away, I went ahead and got Field Five planted and fertilized for the second time. Went ahead and um, slept for October. Oh, hang on, let me change this back. All right. Not sure where my hood is, but that's all right. I don't really need it um, for this part. We'll wrap it up here after this anyway. So yeah, so I went ahead and planted field five, and this is the Miller Gold Mine. We're up here to do some, do a little contract work for him. Um, so we got to run five hundred thousand liters. Of pay dirt through the wash plant. As you can see, it's it's running. He's got a oh dump truck there collecting the tailings. There's his washroom and his his smelter. But I think we're just gonna use this bad boy. He didn't tell us to bring any more down from the hill, so we'll just use this front loader right here and load the pay dirt from that pile into the wash plant. I'm not even sure if that is five hundred thousand liters over there or not but so this is a twenty seven thousand liter bucket so that'll be about eighteen and a half nineteen buckets takes a minute for this guy to fire up but yeah so we'll we'll run a few buckets here and I'll I'll finish the rest off camera we can, we can make this a, a shorter episode than normal but um but yeah so let's see we can get us a bucket in here. Oh, kind of pushing me around. Mm -hmm. I really wish the hood would work so you could see. Oh, there we go. That's what we need. There we go. Sorry, I had my turn my hood off to take the, the screenshot for the thumbnail for this episode while ago I'm sure it'll be I think it's gonna be a picture of this up here what we got going on so so as you can see yeah 27,000 liters for a bucket and we just dump us bad boy in there she's running now we're just a contractor so we can't can't manage that production point the wash plant so we're just a contractor for Mr. Miller, so can't really check on the status, but I'm sure everything's working right. It's taking the material. I'll do a couple buckets here, and I can knock out the rest off camera. So we'll go ahead and throw bucket number two in here. It's working pretty good. It's a nice machine. Huge bucket. So yeah, hopefully this is the goal for us. Hopefully we'll have us a mine like this in the in the near future. I'm sure nothing to this scale to start off with. Probably end up doing it with our tractor and, and front loader. There's already a, a wash plant up on the claim I want to purchase. and I've been talking to a few people in town. Hopefully I can get a investor to go in with us and and purchase the land and you know we'll run everything and just you know, give the investor a fair share of the of the profits so i'm looking at that hopefully we can get that going in the next i don't know maybe year or two game time so so yeah that's that's the deal uh put the pay dirt in there it comes up here wash plant washes it off tailings go there and the concentrate should come out here when it gets ready. Like I said, I can't really see. Yeah, it won't let us manage this. Uh, maybe. Yeah, no. It won't let us manage it because we don't own it. We're just a contractor. So, 
But yeah, guys, we'll wrap this episode up short. It's only been about 20 minutes. I'll go ahead and finish the rest of this off camera and go collect our $5,000. I think Mr. Miller said he left it at the at his office up at his farm, so we'll stop by there on the way home and, and pick it up. But yeah, so hopefully the goal for next episode is probably just things around the house. There's not much to do as far as farming since we only have the one field we'll have to wait till let's see canola we planted it on september 1st so we'll get it august 1st not really much to do in the meantime hopefully our grass another grass season stops growing at the end of november so we'll cut the grass again probably december 1st because you can't harvest it all season but we'll cut it again december 1st and, and get us some more silage bales so we can get those sold off in January and February that'll make us a little money and and there's always contracts we can do we'll probably do a couple of these during the, the slow months since we only have one field at the moment maybe help the neighbors out a little bit do some contracts and um, maybe Mr. Miller will give us some more work up at the mine because that's kind of kind of what we're what we're after here's mining work so it'd be nice to do a little bit of that even if it is you know on the side and not for for our profit but give us a little bit of experience mining anyway so yeah i'll do a, a couple more buckets for you here and then let you go and and we'll see you next time but um thank you guys for watching i appreciate it it's still a very new channel and um, i appreciate those of you that do watch and Hope you enjoy it. If you have any suggestions or anything you'd like me to do on the series, just uh, leave a comment. And and uh, if you enjoy the the channel, please subscribe. And and yeah, thanks everybody for watching. Hope you enjoyed it, and um, happy farming. <laughs>